All right, what is good, everybody? Welcome, welcome to the Spiritual War Room. Yo, I wanted to do a welfare check on Adam22. Yo, I've been watching these videos on YouTube about all the people clowning on him because um, his wife, who is an adult film star, I believe, um, did a scene with another man and I think they just got married. I'm not really sure. I'm not too familiar with them. But yeah, they were, they've just been going in hard on him. So we're going to do a welfare check on him, okay? We're going to see what his feelings are about his uh, relationship currently as well as hers and maybe what it looked like before this all happened and we're going to see if it can be repaired because yeah, living that lifestyle has got to be a difficult one to to be in a polyamorous relationship where you can mess around with other people. It's just I don't I to each their own. Okay. So let's get into this. Um, let's look into Adam's feelings about his relationship prior to all this okay prior to all this it just strands six of scoops like he felt like he was the man he was really happy to tell everybody about his his partner yeah he was really proud of his partner He was, he was proud of his partner. Um, he was happy. Proud, of, I, you know, just. I heard we were going places. Yeah. Kind of feels like what, um, whatever happened now. Whatever happened between them now uh, just kind of changed the course of how he feels about this relationship. <clears throat> I heard that it was a fool's dream. Yeah. It was a fool's dream. So this is like before like him marrying this person, he felt really proud. Almost like he he had his um he had accomplished his boyhood dream, you know, it's like a teenager thinking that it would be cool to marry a, like a stripper, a porn star. And again, it was like a foolish dream, like a boyish dream to think that they could actually make this work. Again, things are crumbling because again, you know, he probably, he really thought she was beautiful, you know, sexy. He loved her. He had a lot of, he had genuine love for her. So to have her, um, <clears throat> I don't know. It was, I heard you can't marry someone in that industry. Like your love can't grow, it can't really develop because when I was watching the interview where he, him and his wife were talking about this, um, at, this was after the fact. Um, I I could tell you she wasn't picking up that he, you know a lot of this shit was making him uncomfortable. He was trying to be cool with it, but he wasn't. He just wasn't. And it's almost like if you can't really see that this is breaking me, then it's just like, again, going back to this, it's a boyish dream to marry someone in this industry. It just, it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. 
so that's how he's feeling right now. Like when he got married, it was he he feels like he felt like he had accomplished his goals, his dream, you know. I don't you know. But yeah. <clears throat> Tell us about um, Adam twenty two. Yeah, he just he just wants to be kind of left alone right now. I think he feels like he made a bad judgment call by agreeing to this. Yeah, it's going back to this look. Like, It was because of money. The payout was good. <sighs> the financial payout was good, but emotionally, it's it really took a toll on his feelings towards this relationship. Again, this has always been like <laughs> the plan, the the goal at like from childhood that they were going to be able to you know get the the best um, looking female they didn't realize the price that came with it so this really this really did hurt it was almost like when he got married, he was hoping that maybe she would want to, you know, because she, they're getting married, they must have love for one another. So he kind of felt like she would possibly um, know that he would want to kind of, he would want her to kind of give this up. But, you know, he doesn't want to be the one to say, well, you know, I was hoping that she would and... Because he knows what, what what's going to come from that. They're going to tell him what you know what you signed up for getting with someone like, you know, someone in this industry. And he's like, yeah, but I, you know, I just thought she loved me. Um, yeah, so he just kind of wants some alone time, so... Guys, maybe lay off of him for a little bit. <laughs> I know this happened a, a bit ago, uh, a little bit ago, like I think maybe a week, two weeks ago. I don't know, but I don't fucking know. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people coming from every which way um, to talk all this shit, you know, and he's feeling kind of alone and abandoned because, yeah, he's feeling really alone right now. Because, again, people are going to tell him, well, you, you knew what you were getting yourself into. Like, what'd you think? It's like what they were saying, you know, like, you can't expect them to change and that's how you met them kind of thing. Uh, he, I think he understands that, but he really felt like she might want to um, maybe give up that life because, you know, he, again, going back to I thought, I thought you loved me. Um, again, they were blinded by the love of money. Whatever offer uh, they were, they were given. Um, kind of blinded them to the consequences uh, and the toll it would take on, on their on their connection. Well, he did in any ways. Um, let's see how she feels. Okay. His wife. I think her name is Lena. I'm not really sure. Um, let's, let's look into her Adam's wife, how is she feeling about this relationship currently? How is she feeling about this relationship currently? How is she feeling 
about this relationship currently. Maybe they're not maybe they're not talking again remember I said he wanted to be alone so this could just be I just don't want to be around you right now again I think it took it it hurt him emotionally to to know like hey you know this is my partner this is my you know my better half this is supposed to be my better half but my better half doesn't even realize that what they're doing is hurting my heart <laughs> Um, and it, I'm, I'm getting about talking about it. Like she, it was so casual. And again, like he doesn't want to <clears throat> be the one to, he doesn't want to say, you know, he doesn't want to say that it, it bothers him because again, a lot of people are going to attack him because, you know, he knew what he was getting into. But again, <laughs> I thought she loved me. Oh. <clears throat> so even though he said he supported this he really he just agreed to it it's just like fine I guess well this is who you are this is who I married so I guess but he really wasn't down with it so currently she like there could be you know he could just be not like communicating with her again it's like money it was about this about money and now these two are just kind of you know she's very defensive and he's he's wanting to be alone Money isn't everything, man. And because of everything that's happened, just like everybody's watching this couple. And I think it's bothering him because it's like he knows that people see this couple as like a fool. They heard fool for fame. <clears throat> Not that they... <clears throat> we're well known already. I mean, come on, but um, I just <laughs> pe the things people will do to come up for more money. Um, selling your <sighs> selling your wife. So, like I heard, selling your wife so people can feel like he deserves it because he sold his wife. <laughs> Two of spokes. He made the choice. He made that choice. So there's people that have very little sympathy for him. And maybe his wife is like, well, I mean, again, you knew this is who I was type of thing. So why is it bothering you? And he's like, because he actually, you know, had love for this person. And people are, I, I, I hear people saying, well, why would he do that if he really loved her? Again, it's just like he didn't want to be this pussy being like, well, why do you want to change him now? This is who you, you know, got with type thing. He, he just didn't want to hear that. So now she, he's not talking to her and she's. She's like, I thought you supported this. Yeah. Um, ton of spokes. This is burdens. Like this, this, they're trying to get over this, this obstacle in their relationship. 
So they could have gotten a lot of success financially, and that's something that always, you know, people think, you know, money's going to make you happy, but at what cost? And this is at the cost of their relationship. Yeah, there's a lot of conflict right now. He just wants to be alone to find balance once again within his mind, in his mind, because he's just like, this whole thing really threw him through. It really threw him into some conflict. Um, I, hear, I heard self-reflecting. So he could be wanting to be alone to reflect on some of his decisions he's made. And how um, claiming to support somebody that you shouldn't really try uh, claiming to agreeing to support something that you don't want to be a part of needing to needing to end though um, stand I'm, I'm here to stand up for yourself to say no like. Um, I'm hearing Jonah Hill too, so I think Jonah got some some heat because he's like, I these are things that I kind of need my partner to do for me, and if, if that's something that they can't do, then I mean, I don't think it was unreasonable. Um. So, um, I don't know why I got Jonah Hill, but it could have something to do with this. Like, your requests weren't unreasonable, but, um, I mean, you're making a deal. It's like a, it's a business partnership, right? And your, your request, what you wanted, what you desired was not unreasonable, but what you want and what you desire Is I just heard it's not gonna come in that package. <laughs> Don't know. Ah, yeah. So he did not. Okay, somebody didn't like that. Again, I. This is something. Yeah, that's the truth, man. Again, it's a, it's a boyish dream. Damn, guys. Hold on, I gotta pick up these cards. Yeah, go, going back to, it was a boyish dream. This is judgment being called because what are you willing to sacrifice for oh, <clears throat> money and the look um, because you got you got the will of fortune but it put an end to the king of scoops this is this is somebody who's very loving but just like he's like fed up he's fed up I just can't allow these people to keep coming in and out of our lives. Judgment's being called. You know, this was 
you being illuminated he's being illuminated to the fact that what what he desired maybe was the price there has to be balance in some way like there has to be some kind of and fortune having a lot of money is not a bad thing and people who have money and who get it do not always do bad things to get it right so if you so this is like if he wanted balance in his love life in his relationship um, there has to be balance in the workspace. Um, he agreed to a lifestyle that maybe he, he really didn't want to be in. It's like, okay, yeah, I'm cool with you. <laughs> sleeping with uh, multiple people but deep down it really it really bothers this person and there's not balance in the relationship but finances are doing well so and you don't seem to care to balance out the the uh, relationship because you guys are too busy being happy with all the money that you owe. You guys get to go out, spend money, have fun, party, whatever you guys do. So you don't want to, you don't care to correct that imbalance. Whatever that is, I don't, you know. If that's extremes in how you make money, spend money, give money. I don't know what that is. An extreme in that in your finances so because you guys were so distracted with having a good time because of the money when it came down to a decision that was like very serious um, someone could have been blinded by money and one just One agreed to something that they didn't want to. It's like, man, yo. Yeah, I'm hearing, okay, there was a part in that interview. He's like, now looking back at all the money that we're making, I can't believe I tried to stand in the way of this. He didn't want it. He didn't give a fuck about the money, honestly. He was hoping that she'd make um, the right decision, that she would know what his needs were, and one of his needs. Because as a, as a wife, one of your duties at to your husband is to protect him. Oh my God, I cannot under I do not understand how women will willingly put their men on full display for everybody to see. To make them, I just like to make them look like some fool. And he was hoping that his wife would do that, and she chose 
not to. She's like, I wanted to make a lot of money, and this is who I am. And, <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I get that. But again, I'm hearing, I thought you loved me. And if you love, you know, so he's feeling kind of bamboozled because he's he's feeling like, I thought you loved me. I thought you loved me. Why would you um, put yourself out there? I don't know. Why would you put yourself out there like that if... Knowing it's gonna make me look like a fool. So this is this could be his own insecurities too, you know. I'm not getting a lot of that. There could be a little bit of that, but I'm not getting a whole lot of insecurity. I'm just getting like a real disappointment in um, realizing that his partner didn't. Pick up, pick up on his um, his um, his needs. It's, again, it's the wife's duty to protect and and nurture her king, and she. I mean, it's for them, for her. It's about the money, and again, she, she, that's her life. That's how she makes her money, you know. So. It wouldn't be fair to say, you know, well, how dare you do this to your husband because he knew what he was signing up for. So this is more just kind of like trying to, maybe she, she, she needed some clarity. She's like, I, why is he not talking to me? I, he supported me in this decision. So what's going on? <laughs> you know, so she's probably not getting it. Again, she wasn't picking up on his cues that, hey, this really is making me uncomfortable and I don't want to be talking about it. But here we are on this fucking podcast talking about it and she was, she just wasn't getting it. And if she's, she wasn't getting it when he was like right in her face right there in front of everyone watching and listening, um, maybe she's not getting that why he's really distant from her because I'm getting I'm getting distance I, again I'm just getting he just wants to be alone he could be going out like gambling he's trying to get yeah, trying to stay strong through all this again, trying to find balance in, in his mind, trying to figure where things went wrong. It's like, okay, we have all this money. It's like, this doesn't have to be him going off to like Vegas or Atlantic City to gamble. It doesn't have to be that. Um, it could have been that he's reflecting on how his relationship kind of like came to a halt where he was really happy and proud to be in this connection with her and now it's like we have money but you know the strength card he's trying to stay strong through this whole ordeal um but he's really just like i don't know just disappointed this could be at himself. This could be at his partner. I mean, again, he's he's behind closed doors. Yeah, he's trying to gain clarity. So this isn't. Um, this isn't just you know something that he's doing to like cast blame on his partner, because again he. He doesn't go to people to talk about it because he knows what people are going to say. Well, you you know what you were doing. I heard you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. I'm not saying she's a hoe, but I mean, she's, you know, if you're part of a, a certain lifestyle, you know, these types of monogamous commitment, uh, relationships, you know, they just don't 
they can't coexist so um and people are i know people are going to be like well that's not true I'm like i'm going to sit your ass down people want to make themselves believe that they can make anything work but you can't want um I just heard you can't, <laughs> you can't uh, desire to be uh, clean and dry sitting in a pot, a, a, like a puddle of mud. It's like you know you you just desire to be comfy, cozy, clean, you know, but you're you're sitting in mud and you're you're refusing to get out. It's it's almost like. <clears throat> I don't, I don't know, man. I'll look away from this because he's, I'm getting more just that he's reflecting on himself, the desires that he wanted, the choices that he made, and where it's gotten him, the chances he's taken for money, the things that he's allowed. Hmm. So, what can they do to mend this relationship? What can they do to mend this relationship? We have the strength and the queen of wands. Getting the Queen of Dice and the Queen of Spokes as his wife. He's really disappointed. Really just kind of ticked off. Because they were going, going, going. You know, everything seemed to be going well. And then whatever she does for work, the Queen of Spokes, the Queen of Wands talks about um, your passions, your creativity. Whatever she did, which was this video... This clip, this scene, whatever she did, flipped that car they were going in. And she did it because she was like, well, the money, right? This man's whole world just kind of feels like it's coming crashing down. And he's doing this in secret. Like, he's trying to... He doesn't know how to get out of this conflict because there is conflict. Behind closed doors, like he just... He's trying to be very reflective on what it is that went wrong. And where balance... Yeah, there's a lot of isolation. Yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah, guys. He's feeling, he's feeling it, man. He really is. How do people feel about what about him? Like and how, what he's going through. What do people, his coworkers, his viewers, what do people feel? Okay, we have the nine of swords. This could be a boss. This could be coworkers. So these are like co-workers, like a boss or a manager. Um, he shows, into work, shows up to work kind of <clears throat> disappointed, sad, but he's trying to put on this brave face. Like, you know, he's suave, cool, everything's cool, but he's really feeling, feeling down and defeated. This is the episode where he's competing with Lloyd Braun. 
And, you know, his mom's always screaming at him, why can't you be more like, like Lloyd? So that's probably how he he's feeling inadequate, man. And so he shows up to work, like, everything's cool. It's a party all the time, <laughs> you know. But deep down, there's, there's, he's feeling angry, man. People at work will just like smile, like, "Oh, hey, what's, what's up?" They, they kind of know that it's just like a front that he feels, he feels hurt, man. He feels hurt. This, she crushed his. She crushed him. This is like, I ain't mad, but I'm really mad. Yeah. I ain't mad, though, but he really is. So this is probably how people um, around him see. They, they think um, they think he's mad, or maybe this is what they think of him. Because I wasn't really getting that he was angry, just disappointed. And I don't even, again, it, I don't think he's disappointed in his partner as much as he's disappointed in himself for allowing something, yeah. Sometimes, you know, you have to say no. So this was a decision that he had to make because there was this, he, his wife told him, okay, I have an opportunity to make this money to, um, oh man, this is a soup Nazi. Like these are things that she was talking about, like. Whatever she was talking about, it was like aggravating him. But he was like, "Okay, I gotta, I gotta play cool. Like I'm, a, you know, I'm the pimp, right? I got, I gotta play it cool, even though this whole conversation is really irritating me. I don't want to say no because if I say no, which the soup Nazi does, you know, he kicks people out. Like, no, I don't. We're not. You're done. Get out of here." Um, you didn't want to, like, this is like Adam not wanting to say no because it's like, oh, well, she's a porn star, so why all of a sudden you want to change her now? That's not right. You're, you know, so he's like, okay, I don't want to deal with that bullshit, so I'm just going to let her do it. And hopefully she'll say, nah, you know what? We're married. I don't want to do this. So he put it out there, yeah, go ahead. And she's like, really, yeah? You're cool with it? <laughs> and so now he's like, fuck, man. He's like, man, I can't win. And so now he has to wear it with confidence, even though he, feel, he feels like a goofball, like a joker. And he feels like whatever this situation is just left him injured. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. His wife. What do people think about his wife? What do people think about his wife? Again, I don't know her name. I believe it's Lena. So she walks into work. Everything's cool. Mm -hmm. A lot of talk about um, the work that she does. 
and <laughs> some people are applauding her some people are calling concerned some people are talking about it when um about like for work but then he's getting like her husband's getting this call and everybody's like telling him like whatever he's hearing he didn't like realities he's not he's not doing well he feels he feels like he made a mistake man. he really did and I think a lot of the people when thinking about her uh, believe that it was a mistake to let her do it too regret regret on his side I don't know about her side it's almost like she yeah it's like well you agreed to it yeah how does she feel how does his how does Adam's wife feel about what she did to how he made, um, he should have said something. That's how she feels. Oh, if he didn't like it, he should, he should have said something. Um, I would have, I heard I might not have, would have liked it, but I would have listened. <laughs> would she? She, she probably might not have liked it. She, she would have thrown that whole, well, this is who I am. This is who you are. You knew who I was when you met me. That kind of shit. Um, yeah, like, yeah. That's what she's going to tell him. Well, you knew who I was. Why are you sad now? You knew who I was. So she would have told him, well, yeah, I would have listened to you, but the truth is, I don't think she really would would have wanted to. She would, you know, she wants to continue to her, live her life the way, yeah, she wants to continue to live her life the way she has been to make money, you know. Yeah. So... She, she was definitely down for this polyamorous relationship. She knew what she was getting into, and she was she was all for it. Um, it was him that didn't realize what he was getting himself into, because what he wanted was something more monogamous, and he maybe he didn't want to. Um, he didn't want to admit that. Again, accepting other people, um, the lifestyles of others, just to keep someone around is, it's never going to end well for you. Yeah, 
his <sighs> she he, he I'm getting I don't know who got the big head but when she was given this offer he could have been very defensive. Someone was defensive. They wanted to see how she would respond. What is this? Oh my well, guys. Right, we're already on 45 minutes. I don't know if there's anything else. He's feeling kind of defeated. He's feeling kind of, I don't know, like the boss is like, what are you going to say? And he's like, I don't know. Let me figure it out. Because right now he's feeling like a joker, man. He's feeling like a, he's feeling like a fool right now. So, oh man. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there, guys. This shit is crazy. All right. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. All right, guys. Don't forget to check out the description box. There's more information on how to schedule your own personals if you feel called to do so. Okay, guys. If not, and this is where I leave you. Have a great one, guys.